Oh no. Hi, I'm Zazi, and today we will have a quick look at Vivo X Note, the huge newest Vivo phone. But before we start, I want to thank my partners, Cheerios, Kevin, and Sammy. Their link will be in the description. Alright, this is our Vivo X Note box, and as you can see, it's much bigger than those conventional boxes. This one is almost square, the box looks premium and elegant. Let's open to check it. This box also has a different texture. The touch feeling is like a leather, and the glossy black letters give a fancy impression. And even inside they chose a very elegant material where the phone lays. The mobile phone I will leave aside for now, so let's continue the unboxing. And we tried to lift the paper to access the accessories, but we noticed Vivo X Note really wants to feel special. All the accessories are in a small drawer in the front. First you can find the cover and it's not soft and not hard, then you have a Type-C to Type-C cable, a 8 watts fast in charging, and they also include a earphone. Now let's check the Vivo X Note, and please leave in the comment if you liked the first impression of its back. This back part look is different from those mobile phones in the market, it's very iconic. The texture also reminds a letter, and on the sides they include a pattern pretending to be stitches, giving the impression someone sewed it, and again make it look expensive. Then in the middle they include a metal Vivo logo. For cameras we have a 50 megapixels main sensor, then a 48 megapixels ultra wide, 8 megapixels periscope telephoto, and it allows you to use 5 times optical zoom and 60 times digital zoom. And last but not least, a 12 megapixels professional camera for portraits. And on the right corner there is a Zions logo, what means we will have good photos, but let's check it later. On the right side, we have the power and volume button, you can also check the screen curve, it's just slightly curved, so you don't miss any information on the sides. On the left side, there is only the DNS button, on the top, only the noise reduction microphone and other sensors. And on the bottom, speaker, Type-C port, microphone and dual SIM card trail. For the self camera, you can count with a 16 megapixel sensor, and the screen is big. It's a 7-inch AMOLED QHD Plus resolution Samsung E5 with 1500 nits peak for brightness. It has a A Plus certification from DisplayMate and 100 Hz for refresh rate. For a specification, it comes with Origin OS Ocean, Android 12, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 12 GB for RAM and 512 GB memory. It also counts with 5000 mAh battery capacity with 8 watts wired charging and 50 watts wireless. And for performance, we run onto two and we got more than 1 million points. And this mobile phone comes with a very big vapor chamber for cooling, what's good for those people who like to play games. For the size, some people may wondering if this phone is big like a tablet, but despite of it being 7 inch screen, it is still much smaller than an iPad 5 mini. And for image quality, we made a comparison with Vivo X60 Pro Plus, and it seems it had some improvement, but not a crazy difference. Please leave in the comment what is your opinion about this phone, and if you like my content, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video, bye bye!